hello everyone and very welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you a hundred percent local private deep document search tool with ai it works on the front end but provides you a back end through text generation web ui from ubabuga so in order to get this running you also need to install ubabuga and i will also show you the steps of it but if you are interested in detailed video i already have covered ubabuga in detail on the channel so feel free to search with text generation web ui or ubabuga so coming back to this snorkel software which is a hundred percent local private document search tool it enables you to run deep private searches across hundreds of pages per minute to get a relevant context for your queries Snorkel can run on any backend LLM server using TextGen Web UI by default. Snorkel is a fork of patents.local, which is another tool by the same creator that is a document analysis tool for patent attorneys with a modified system prompt for general searching. It basically breaks your references up into pages, passes each page to an LLM with the query and asks if the content is relevant to the query. If it is relevant, then it displays a short code with a link to the full page. And if I scroll down, this is how it looks like when it is running, where you all you need to do is to just create the collection and the uh, uh, uploading of the document and create analysis. And then you can do the deep searches within your document. So it is primarily a rag running on the backend, which is a retrieval augmented generation. It is quite private because it doesn't access anything outside. It doesn't send anything outside. It is entirely on your own local machine, which ensures full control over your data. And the searches and analysis of large documents is pretty fast. Also by default, it uses text gen web UI, but you can easily integrate it with any other backend LLM server, as long as it is OpenAI compatible or Lama.cpp such as uh, I believe Olama and LM Studio, but I think you would need to do some hacking in order to implement it. Okay, so enough talk. Let's see how can we get it installed and running. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the GPU and VRAM for this system. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of uh, GPUs. So this is my terminal where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have this GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM courtesy masked compute. So let me clear the screen. Next up, let's create a Conda environment or you can even use a Python virtual environment if you like. I'm just going to go with uh, Python 3.11 and I'm calling it SN. Let's wait for it to get created. The Conda environment is created. Let's install all the prerequisites, including Torch and Transformers. Let's wait for it. And while this installation is happening, let me show you how you can install Ubabuga. So I'm just going to open another terminal window on the same host. This is my default Conda environment, I'm going to deactivate it, activate our newly created SN environment, clear the screen. And then in order to install Ubabuga, all you need to do is to first git clone the repo of Ubabuga. I already have git cloned it, so it is already on my system. So I'm just going to remove this part from the home and then just enter. And now I am in the text generation web UI. Once you are there, there is already a file called as start underscore linux just change the permission on it so i already have done it i'm not going to, so these permissions are making it executable once that's done all you need to do is to run this command dot slash start underscore linux dot sh and listen api so let's wait for the other window to finish installing torch and stuff and then i will run this command so let's wait for it shouldn't take too long this CUDA driver with the torch they take some time bit of a time okay in the other window everything is installed now let's 
start our text gen web ui or ubabuga from here and it is going to start it on our local host so let's wait for it to get started almost there and it is going to start it at port 7860 there you go so if i go to my port 7860 and access it it is going to show it to me so this is my previous chat here if you click on models from the model if you don't have any model simply go to hugging face and from here you can <clears throat> select any model for example you can go with 53 mini just copy this repo name and then go back to obabuga and paste it here or and then click on download i already have downloaded it so i'm just going to go with meta lava click on load and then you will see on the bottom right that it is loading the model and once it says that successfully loaded then we can move forward and you can see that the model is loaded now and in order to test it you can just go back to the chat and then you can just say anything you like and as long as you are getting the response back from the model we are good okay so the connection is done ubabuga is running so if i go here i'm just going to minimize this let's go to the other one this one i guess yeah okay so our prerequisites are done here let me clear the screen next step we need to do is to git clone the repo of snorkel and i will drop the link to it in video's description let me paste it here that is done let's cd into it now let me clear the screen another prerequisite which you need to have here is that you should have node installed and npm installed i already have the recent versions of it if you don't know how to install node please search my channel i already have done heaps of videos on it so it should be good okay so now that said and done next step we need to do is to install all the dependencies and for the dependencies we need to run this command npm install it is going to install various things with it so let's wait for it to finish and it has installed all of these dependencies let me clear the screen another thing is that we need to rename this env file and if i quickly show you it just includes a local database url for sqlite let me clear the screen and then we just need to initialize that database by running npm run db push and the database has been initialized and in sync and now in order to start the application just run npm run dev and now you can see that the application is ready and running on this port 3000 so let me go to my local um, browser and let's run it there so i'm accessing it at the local host so let's wait for it there you go so this is our snorkel running locally all installed and then in order to use it you can simply click on new collection and then you can upload your documents here so let me just grab one document from my own um, file so i'm just going to upload a maybe i'll just upload my own database uh, i'll just go with this file a small one once you have uploaded it just click on create analysis it is going to start creating the analysis so let's wait for it it's all done and now you can simply select it and then start chatting with it like who is Fahad Mirza, that PDF file just contains information about myself. Then click here. Let's wait for it. There you go. So it has just gone in. It has grabbed the information from my own PDF file and then it has also given us the reference. And you can also just simply toggle and toggle off this. And you have to have one reference selected otherwise <clears throat> it will just give you a warning like select at least one reference so which is quite good and then you can even delete the col uh, collection from here and you can go with system dark or light theme so it's a pretty simple tool does one thing and and does it quite nicely so for example i can uh, simply go to all collections 
and then there is this one job just click on it this is the one cool and then you can go to another collection and then you can add any other file so i'm just going to go with this larger file here create analysis and that is a good thing it is um quite fast i must say so maybe i'll just say what is pmon in oracle it's a very old very very old oracle documentation which i have download uh, downloaded so let's see if it is able to search for this background process in oracle the pmon let's wait for it and i'm letting it run to just show you the performance of it it's a quite a big do uh, document i think around more than two to three hundred pages so it is sort of a needle in the haystack thing and there you go so it has extracted the information um about pmon here you go oracle docs.pdf that is great awesome um so it has gone page by page by the way and then if you just scroll down you will see that it has gone through almost the whole document here great stuff okay because i just reloaded it that is why it is giving me the error because it was still running okay so all in all really good private tool which you can readily use really impressed by it i will drop the link to it in video description let me know what do you think about it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching